Welcome creators. How are you guys doing? It's time for a shot glass tray. So a few things. I'm going to take you guys through the steps in case you haven't done it before. Or you just want to watch another one or you haven't done one with rocks. I buy these on Amazon. And uh, it says the ounces, but it also says the milliliters, the cc's or the ml's. And then I have this little thing here and I put hot water in it and I warm up the silicone, sorry, the epoxy. I get silicone for silicone tray and epoxy for epoxy resin mixed up, just FYI. So I used to wipe my trays out with alcohol and it really roughs them up. They're kind of, you know, like shiny, like you could glide your finger, you know, on this, uh, on the inside for the epoxy. So um, I used to do alcohol and then um, I had a problem where it ripped my tray because I fused the uh, epoxy to the mold. So I watched a bunch of videos and they said, why just wipe out your tray with a baby wipe and you'll be good. These are actually lower than the top. And so what I've been doing is not coating this part in the first layer, because I do two layers, but I think I want to coat this in the first layer. So I'm going to say I'm going to need four ounces, I believe. I think I put in five before and it was just too much. It was almost all the way full. Of course, I'm going to use rocks too, and that was with flowers. So I may only need like three ounces to start. I buy my, I buy rock chips from Zen Keeper. This is how they come in a cute little box like this. Isn't that cute? get them on Amazon and they come in a cute little bag like that and that's quite a few that's a pound it was like 14 or 15 dollars I think it depends what you get so this is red Jasper so it's nice because they polish it and what I like about the chips is that they're typically not going to stick out you know what I mean of the tray like if you get rocks it's harder to fit them together isn't that pretty isn't that just a beautiful color you can look up Jasper I'm not sure what healing property it has but it has one so one thing nice about Jasper too is that I'm not trying to look for a side that has like a you know a reflective shiny part like the I love it when you get those little round ones. So cute. Um, oh, what was that stuff I had? Labradorite. It's kind of a gray, grayish green rock, but it also, but it has this uh, shiny side to it. Not all the pieces have it, of course, because they're chips. Now check this out. Check out this Jasper. I wonder what it was going into there. Look at that. Just a little bit of Jasper left there. I don't know. Do they have white Jasper? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna leave that one out. There's some that have a little bit of black in them. I'm okay with that. I just don't think I see too many with the white. Here's another one. I don't wanna have a bunch with the white in it. So I just kind of make sure that they're flat and I do like them to be continuous. You know, it, it really, how you lay them out on your to your tray is completely up to you. I always leave this part, I always leave the part where the shot glass tray goes though blank. Okay. So yeah, they're nice, huh? Polished rocks. That's cool. I like that one. I'll put that right there. Okay. So a vein going you know a white vein going through it I don't care I just don't want ones that I hope my hair
hair. Lord, don't let my hair be in the shot. My hair is so dirty. And my hair was in the shot of the last uh, video that I made. And I had to edit out all this part, a whole bunch of parts. I think the video is like less than six minutes because my gray hair, I, I'm not getting my hair done till July. I, I'm wondering if I wrote it down wrong because my gray hair is showing on the crown of my head. And I am not wanting that in my video. No, no, I try to hide that gray hair right now. <laughs> I try to keep that, keep the gray at bay. Okay. So I am making this tray for my masseuse. So I think she'll like it. She said she loves Jasper. So I love this Jasper. I love this color with turquoise. I just think they're awesome colors. I always liked brown a lot. So I don't want anything to stick out. Now here's one thing too, is that your rocks can kind of float a little bit. This one's a little bit high. Makes me a little bit nervous that it would float up. Everything will still sit flat, but there we go. So I'd say that's, I just want to get my hair in it. I would say that this is looking pretty darn good. All right, this, there's no perfect way to do these, thank God. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be able to do it because I'm far from perfect. Even though I sometimes have a hard time admitting that. Oh, okay, let's go over here, put this here like that. And I'll take a look at it when I shut off the camera because I don't want you guys to see the crown of my head as <laughs> I lean over it. But let me see if I have some glitter or something that can go in to the um, silicone just to give the rocks just a little more mm, kick or something. Okay, so let me just see what I got. So. I bought, I think Terry Henderson, she has a hookup for so many wonderful items. And she was talking about this uh, glitter sand. Uh, luxury embellishments by Enchanting Fine Art. She makes this stuff. Can you guys see it? This is black, but it's got like a lot of silver to it. Oh, it's called Glitter Sand Black. And then I ordered this, I don't know, maybe I should do gold. I ordered this beautiful gold. No, no, this is a, it's a sample. Glam sand, glam glitter sand in tan. Look at all that. But then she also gave me this orange. Look at that. And it has, when you look at it, you can see like there's light, but then there's also that side that's really close to this. So I think I'm gonna put this in it. This is called Burnt Orange Glam Sand. Uh, Glam Sand. So I bought this one and a pink, a really lovely light pink one, and she sent me these two free samples. So that's going in here. So since I have all these rocks, I'm just gonna do, uh, do I do three ounces or do I do four? Extreme Resin, I think is what I'm using right now. Close to, that would be close to four ounces. So I could do 50 cc's, that'd be a little over three ounces. That would be put me up to three and a half ounces. That's gonna be pushing it. But I might do that. I might do 50 cc's, 50 cc's of the resin and then 50 cc's of the hardener. So the resin is the stuff that pours out real slow real slow and kind of like goopy and plops. So since you want these two to be even, I would recommend that you pour out the one that's hardest first. So in case you're a little under, a little over, then when you pour out the one that's easy, you can um, 
you know, easy peasy, right? Okay, it warmed up really fast, really, really fast, because I've been keeping it inside the house ever since I moved everything up. Oh, this is the part that stinks. This stuff's stinky, so. Now we're gonna mix it. When I uh, start to pour, I will center the camera on here more, okay? And I will pour the resin in here to torch it first because I am not going to torch it in there because it can ruin, you, you know, you could use it, do a heat gun on it, you know, and there's going to be times when you have to do that, but you can see all the bubbles in there. It's cleared up, so it's, well, it's mixed well, but I don't want to get the bubbles out and ruin my mold. So, yeah, okay, so it's thoroughly mixed, so you can see how that looks when it's mixed. So I'm going to pour it in here. Of course, now I'm transferring it twice, so I'm going to lose a little bit each time, too. And then, I don't know, it's going to be weird pouring it from the bowl, probably. It'll be my first time doing that, so I don't know. See how they most of them went away. I'm gonna wait a few more minutes. What is down in there? Okay, I'm not feeling any warmth anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it one more time. Oh, yeah, still bubbles, and I may have to do it in here too, but at least it's minimized. Okay, so you can see everything. I'm not gonna put the glitter into the epoxy. I am going to put the glitter kind of behind the rock. So I'm just gonna kind of layer it on there. That's how I decided that I would like to do that step. Okay, so let's go ahead and pour. This part, you don't you don't wanna cover this thing up because that's gonna make a hole for you to hang it, like on a hook if you want to. So um, you wanna be careful there, of course. Um, I have yet to pour it out of a bowl. It is self -love. take you guys down close so you can see looks perfect perfect amount of coverage some of the rocks are sticking up a little bit I'm gonna bring I'm gonna shut this off and bring you guys down and show you before I add the glitter here is how much of the edge see the little bubbles in there so I'm gonna pop those again so here's how much of the edge is sticking out just a little bit maybe an ounce and a half worth seeing. You can still see the top there where the hole's gonna be. 
And then if you look at it, let's see, can I do it this way? Look at it kind of sideways like that off the table. See how some of the rocks are sticking out? But they're not going above the silicone mold. See that? So it's going to lay flat. And the fact that a few of them stick up is okay because they will be covered. Now see that nice little bubble right there? Look at that big old bubble on the side. See, if you don't pop that, that becomes a problem. So we have got to pop the bubbles and it's getting a lot of shine because I have lights on. But there's another nice little big bubble. Look at that. Look, somebody just blew a bubble right in there. See that? There's another, there's another one down in there I see by that rock that's uh, kind of in the center, lower center, and another bubble. See those bubbles? Now, if those bubbles are in there, it's okay. It's not going to ruin it, but it looks really nice and smooth. There's another one on the edge there. See, oops, see that? Kind of a light reflection in it. So, okay. Now, I don't know if I can hold this because I'm shaky. I don't know if I can hold this and do a heat gun thing at the same time, but let's see if I can get that one on the edge. Yeah, the pop, see? Oh, there's one right next to it. Wait. Okay. Are you getting them? I think so. Okay. Oh, that stuff is stinky. Okay, I'm going to do the rest myself. I think you guys get the idea, and then I will add the glitter on top and show you again. Okay, I hope this is a little bit better for you guys to see up close as I do the glitter. So gonna dust it on sprinkle it on there well oh, there's another little bubble I see right there there's a couple there were a couple on the side and I just didn't want to get my heat gun back in there because I do there's one right there look at this doesn't want to pop it does it says no I want to have a I want a bubble to be in here this is my artistic Yep, that bubble's not popping. It's okay. It might pop when it gets some glitter on it. We're going to find out. over of course it says give it your best shot underneath where you put the shot glass trays and um, when it's dry and everything I'll put the shot glass trays in it for you guys and I'll show you but I think I'm gonna just mix a little bit of that acrylic paint just a tiny little dab in there in like an ounce and kind of smooth it over the top. I really think that's all that's needed is an ounce, but I want to finish it off to make sure that the handle's strong. So um, that's what we're gonna do. And then um, I'll have to cover it again. And then tomorrow, I work tomorrow, um, when I get home, I will do the reveal and then I can post it. So. Um, I watched a very good video today um, by Terry Anderson Art and she talked about some really good stuff that helped me that I got I feel like I got some more information that I needed to do a Dutch pour so 
I really want to do a Dutch pour again now. So maybe the next time I do it, I'll have like excellent results and I'll be so happy to share that with you guys. So anyway, thanks for joining me. Hey, it's a no makeup Monday for me. Okay. Cause it's a holiday and so we're off work today, but anyway, let me flip that around and let's get that turquoise in there and see how it looks. I don't want to do the black in the tray because just feel like it's gonna make it I don't know more like Halloween or something and Halloween's like my least favorite hi everybody I'm back I just re got done recording the second part of the video and um, I recorded it without any sound I've added the music in the background and hopefully that's not intrusive but there's Kiki that's my little gray cat so she knows I'm going to film. So there she is joining me. So I'm not going to make her move. She likes that water right there I have up there too because I use that to mix um, into paints and stuff. And she always wants to drink out of it. If you guys have cats, you know how they are. Anyway, I think turquoise would look really good on the background instead of um, black kind of gives it that southwestern feel and look at that I bought I brought two of those, those both those colors out and I thought well sometimes different um makers you know uh, they may the colors will vary but if you look closely those uh tubes are different but they're by the same brand so they're the same okay let's take a look I already pulled it back right there um, to kind of take a peek at it. So I'm going to show you guys that part. I, I don't want to take it apart very much because I still need to put the final coat on it. And there it is. Looks nice. Now you can see right there, there's gonna be a few places, especially on the side, where you're gonna see the clear epoxy. And I don't know if you can see it there by my left thumb, but when the blue is on there in the background, then that will show through and I think it will look really nice. Hey, look, I found those silicone molds I was looking for. Now, I bought those specifically to pour my epoxy resin in so then I could use my heat gun on it. So I'm going to wipe a couple of spots out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mix up the epoxy and, um, and then I will film myself um, putting a little dab of the paint in it and then also getting the heat bubbles out. And I'm going to timestamp, so if you already know this stuff, you can just bypass it to whatever part that you want to watch.
I'm going to keep the color transparent so that it shows the um, or orange glitter underneath a little bit. I think that'll look super cool. Hi guys, <laughs> I'm filming myself actually on my iPad today. <laughs> okay, shot glass tray, shot glass tray. It's time for the reveal. So it looks real pretty. I'm sorry you're getting light glare, but really pretty, right? I'm looking at my shot glass tray and not at you. I love you guys. Okay, so some bubbles a few little bubbles i didn't get out but i think okay okay not like any real bubble damage now i will show you something that does happen to the rocks sometimes so i'm wondering if maybe i need to put maybe a little bit of epoxy in the bottom before i stick the rocks in but then it could be messy if i'm flipping them around and and you know like rearranging them and stuff but okay so let's do this let's do it and Lord help me if anything sticks, like if I, you know what I mean, fused it. Okay, okay, kind of trippy. I haven't done one like this yet. Look, ooh, la, 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 la. We are seeing a little bit of the blue come through on the sides a little bit. So it just kind of enhances it, it almost looks dark. But ooh, I like that glitter right there that is picking up with the blue in between the rocks. What you think? What you think? What you think? Let's, shall I keep going? <laughs> shall I keep going, darling? <laughs> okay. Ooh, la, la, la. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, now I, I used to pop, usually pop this part out first. So what I do, I'm just going to show you guys what I do is I will push on it a little bit like that and then I don't just rip it okay I'm gonna show you from the side is I just kind of like try to like so I've got my thumb in there see that and I just kind of like wiggle it see how I push pulled it a little bit just kind of wiggle it out there see nice 
need to hang up. Perfect. Okay. So let's see. Ooh. Oh, I got a couple of white uh, jaspers in there. Didn't I? What you guys think? What you guys think? But pretty. And you can see, I don't know if you can read it. If I got it upside down, I think I do. Give it, or my upside down backwards, give it your best shot. It could just be because the way that I'm filming it. I don't know. But that's what it says. I know you can see the words, but they might be upside down and stuff just because of the way that I'm filming. But there it is. Okay, now what does happen with the rocks? Let me show you. Is that there'll be these little gaps sometimes. But of course, when I give it away or when I sell it, I will say, do not submerge in water. And this is because the rocks are close together, but sometimes the epoxy doesn't seep down. But now you can see that the blue was able to seep in, maybe I'm a little bit, was able to seep in a little bit between the rocks, right? Lovely. What's going on here? Oh, is that black on the, little bit of black on the Jasper there. That's natural. Okay, side view. Side view up close. Bring it around, side view. Okay, spinning it, side view. It, a lot to look at, right? A lot to look at. <gasps> Ooh la la, I like it. So you're gonna, you're gonna hang it this way? You can hang it this way. Okay, let me go find some shot glasses. Stick them in there just to show you guys. And I'll have it, um, you know, I'll have it down on the um, table. Or maybe I won't, I don't know. Hang on, let me go find them. Should've brought them up here, but I didn't. All right, and then guess what? I'm gonna be trying that Dutch board. Yeah, because I'm really excited about a thing that I learned about it. Ooh, ooh. All right, I'll be right back. Got to back up a little bit. There they are. They're a little smudgy, sorry guys. I didn't, I didn't make sure they were clean. I just went and grabbed them. So I have some ideas because, <clears throat> but let me just show you. Okay, see, look, nice and sturdy. This one is nice and sturdy. You can see there's a nice divot in there so that if you're passing out shots, or if you're having a party, and I realize you guys aren't like, hey, shot, shot, shots every night, you know. But um, if you're having a party and you're passing out shots, this is really nice. Because what most people do, right, is we stack them like this. We got two handfuls, right? Trying to go up the stairs, trying to go down the stairs outside, trying to make it to the person or whatever. Spills, you got it on your hands, you feel sticky. Now you just, you know, whatever. No good. But if you don't drink, okay, so if you're like me, you don't drink really, okay? I thought, so you know, I watch these baking shows and stuff, cooking shows for a while. I haven't for a long time. But <clears throat> they would get those spoons, those Japanese style spoons that you eat your soup with. And they would serve, you know, something like that. And they would serve something on it, like just to taste. I guess everybody's on a diet. I'm like, Give me that big old bowl of ice cream, baby. But, um, you know, just a taste. So, you could do like a brownie. You could put like some brownie in here, a little bit of whipped cream, and then like a little piece of mint or something like that, right? Or maybe whatever you like to do. You could do something really rich, right? And you could do it in here. You could do um, like a little mini parafay, parafay, I don't know. You guys know what I mean, right? Or, or you could do an appetizer in here. Like, what if you put, um, what's that stuff with the shrimp? You know, cocktail sauce, right? And then like three shrimps, three big shrimps hanging out. And you know, you could space them in a way that they wouldn't touch each other. And then you could be like, hey, would you like to have a shot of shrimp or what about those of you that love the oyster shooters? Ooh, some people love oyster shooters. I don't like them. I dated a guy for a long time who loves them. He loves to get them. He would totally take an oyster shooter, like if you wanted to prepare that and serve that. 
So there's all different kinds of things. You just need to use your imagination of what you could do with a shot glass tray. It doesn't have to be alcohol, okay? They're great gifts. Um, one of my dear friends, um, one of my best friends, I've been friends with her since like 2007. Um, and she is, her cousin, I think is getting married in um, Colorado. She's gonna go and they're getting married at a winery. Now, my friend doesn't drink, but she bought a beautiful shot glass tray that I made with in a lovely light, uh, light green, not really lime, but that lighter green that kind of goes with the peach and the pink that people are into decorating, and I had the flowers in there. I think I did a black background, or maybe I left it all green. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It turned out really pretty, and she is giving that to them, and what a perfect gift because these people do like to drink. Um, I don't know if they work at wineries. Some people, you know, I live in Oregon. There's a lot of wineries around here makes great wedding gifts anyway and they're fun to make surprise your friends with um my uh my stepdaughter from my long-term marriage that i had for a long time um her sister's sister by another mother i think her sister had a daughter who's anyway She's super, super cute. She's in her 20s. She's super cute. And I sent one to her and she gave me this little picture. So she's going to be my shot glass girl now, I told her, because I'm going to go visit soon. And um, I'm going to get a bunch of pictures. I'm going to do like the brownies. I'm going to do like the shrimp cocktail and stuff. And I'm going to get pictures of her with some shot glass trays and that stuff going on. So um, I just think it's just going to be really fun to present. So um, if you have any questions, um, send me leave me a message I don't think I have my email down you guys I, I still am kind of in the I really love to create the art and film it but and then give it away to like friends and family but I haven't really sold much of it and I need to get on that and do that because um, I think I you know I think I do the shot glass trays good but my Dutch poor man it's been a struggle but shout out Shout out big time to Terry Anderson Art. That woman has the hookup. She's got the hookup for glitter. She's got the hookup for super cool paints. Um, she's just got the hookup for a lot of stuff. She's been doing this for a long time. Please go to her channel. She does all different kinds of art and she really, she takes the time to explain it. Like I needed to know more than just okay lisa take your get good paint so they have good pigment and thin them out i thought that's my problem well part of my problem another part of my problem was didn't really understand those squares on the paint bottles i don't have it in front of me but when i film it i'll talk about it about how you can lay your paints down in a way that if you have a paint underneath you know that let's say is transparent and it's got a paint that the square is all filled in on top of it, you never, when you blow it, you're never gonna see that come out. Good to know. I need to know this stuff. I love art, but I never went to school for it. And um, it took me many, many years before I even had the courage to start to try this stuff. So I don't know, but she is going to give you much, a lot of information very valuable information and she's fun and friendly and she's not afraid to make a mistake on camera and i really do love that about her um she spilled over some paint and you know what don't we all right i mean we're artists sometimes we're a little clumsy maybe not but i am you should see my anyway oh my god i'm ranting okay enough of that i gotta cut it okay see you guys in the next one Get ready for a Dutch pour, and I might have figured it out. Say a prayer for me, please. Okay, love you guys. Bye.